It's 9 a.m. from Fox 35. This is Good Day Orlando. On the Health Watch this morning, genetically modified organisms in food are a sometimes controversial issue. This morning, we're digging deeper on them for you. Mika Maninen is the co-founder of Real Food Partners. He is in town for Natural Foods Expo and stopped by to talk about GMOs. Mika, thank you. How did you do on the last name? Well, thank you, Tom. Well, we set it up last night, and today the show starts at 10. Yeah. What exactly are genetically modified organisms? Because we hear a lot about them these days. Yeah, it's, it's confusing, isn't it? I try to break it down in kind of layman terms. About 15 years ago, farmers were using Roundup, the same kind of stuff that you get from any hardware store. And they were using more and more of it. And just like with antibiotics in your body, more you use, less it actually does for you. The plants were, were getting burned. So the guys were wondering, like, what on earth are we going to do? Because uh -huh. we can't pesticide enough. Monsanto engineers took one molecule out of the DNA chain, implanted it with a Roundup molecule. And now the plant team thinks, actually, that Roundup is part of it. So now you can actually pesticide immense amount. It, there's okay. no limit how much you can pesticide. The problem with that is that obviously now the plant and the soil sucks up all the pesticides and it ends up in your body because you end up eating more chemicals. So there have been, there've been like a hundred or so studies in the past from yeah. people in the industry, some outside of the industry, that said that, that they're safe. But there's this new study uh, out of France that says, hold on a sec, we need to rethink this. Well, we don't know. That's the problem. You know, in, in whenever we don't know something, there's a big chance that something bad will happen to you. I myself, I'm just concerned about the fact that you might actually end up eating more and more chemicals. So what, what should people do? What should they well, look for buy, if they want to avoid them? Buy products that actually claim in the packaging that there is no GMOs used. Nothing okay. is genetically modified. In U.S., we don't have a law that requires manufacturers to put it on their packaging. So you have to go with somebody that actually says in a box that, you know, do, doesn't okay. contain genetically modified organisms. For example, you know, the oatmeal simply, you can get this from Winn-Dixie. I mean, you don't have to go into specialized stores. You can but, find them from the regular stores as but well. But do your reading. As with yeah, things, as reading always, read. Read up. Mika, thank you very much for coming in and explaining it to us and clearing it up. Thank you, Tom. Have a great day. Thank you very much.